We are excited that our school will be transitioning on March 16th, having all our students come back to school from 8 to 2.30. Lincoln will still be offering an online option, however this model will also be changing. All Lincoln families will need to declare their attendance choice for the fourth term by Monday, March 8th. This choice will be binding until the end of the school year and cannot change. In order for you to make an informed decision, let's talk a little more about the changes in the models. First, let's talk about our in-person model. All students will attend from 8 to 2.30 on Monday through Thursday. Friday will still be designated as an online day. We will strive to implement current health department guidelines as well as many social distancing practices as possible to keep students safe. Per state orders, masks will continue to be worn. We will be putting practices in place which will keep the elementary wing and the junior high wing of the building separate. Continued cleaning efforts will be made and desks will be spaced as far apart as reasonable. Elementary students will receive language arts, math, science, and social studies instruction in their classroom and go to art, PE, computers, and library in other classrooms throughout the week. Students will have three 10-minute recesses throughout the day that will be followed by a five-minute cool-down period before returning indoors. Breakfast and lunch will be served in the elementary gym. Students will eat lunch in the gym or lunchroom, and if they come for breakfast, we'll have them eat in their classrooms. Junior high students will continue their A-B schedule with four periods a day. These periods will be 78 minutes. Students will start their day, eat lunch and breakfast, and end their day in their homeroom classes. All students will be assigned computers in homeroom to take with them throughout the day. We are adding a 14-minute recess for junior high students between second and third period. Students will be allowed to go outside, walk around, remove their masks when they go outside, and take a small break. Students may also continuously walk the halls at this time if they choose. We feel this will help provide some social opportunities that students desperately need. Students will be allowed to use their lockers as well as bring backpacks to class. Students who are absent, sick, or required to quarantine can have their absence excused by notifying the front office. However, they are still required to make up any missed work. Their work can be accessed on Canvas. However, please plan accordingly as the majority of classes will not be offering live Zoom feeds. We will provide specific detail on carpool and student expectations and procedures in the coming weeks. Now, let us talk about the online program. Our current online model relies heavily upon having students attend via Zoom. With change happening, having students attend via Zoom for six plus hours a day is not pedagogically correct or healthy. Therefore, we will be making some adjustments. All students in the online program will have to complete the online certification before the start of fourth term if they haven't already. In elementary, online students in kindergarten through third grade will focus only on language arts and math. There may be times where social studies or science topics are read about or written about, but there will not be standalone instruction provided in social studies or science. Fourth, fourth and fifth grade students will be offered language arts, math, and science. Sixth grade students will be offered language arts, math, science, and history. All instruction for online students will be through online Canvas modules. There will be no live Zoom. Teachers may choose to upload videos they have created in these modules. They may record sections of the class or provide material to support the activities and assignments that students will be expected to complete. Students will be completing similar work as those in the classroom and completing this on Canvas. There will no longer be a weekly exchange of material and assignments. All work needs to be submitted electronically. In junior high, there will be three types of instructional models for online junior high classes. The first model is an online Canvas module model. I know, that's a lot of M's. Online Canvas module model. This is the way the majority of our classes will be offered. Coursework will be completed through online Canvas modules. These modules may include videos and other resources to support student learning. There will be no live broadcast of these classes and all work will be coordinated through Canvas. The second model includes a daily live Zoom and Canvas model. Students will be expected to join the class live via Zoom each day. Some days this will only be for the first 30 minutes and others it could be for the whole class. Students will complete assignments and work on Canvas. The third module is an occasional Zoom and online Canvas modules model. Students in these classes will complete their courses in Canvas and be required to attend class on specific instances. Required Zoom days will be defined in Canvas. It is important to understand that due to the fact that more students are in the classroom, interaction with the teacher will be significantly less than in the past. To be honest, in these classes, online Zoom students will be more of an observer than a participant. Many online classes will have a required check-in with the teacher once a week via Zoom. 
Teachers will continue to be available on Fridays to meet with students by appointment. To see a list of classes and the type of instructional delivery for your class, see the link in the email or visit our website. As a reminder, all families need to submit their enrollment choice by 5 p.m. March 8th. We thank you for your continued support and are excited about these changes for Lincoln Academy.